Okay, welcome to the stream. We'll continue master mode. Hope you're enjoying so far. Thanks for clicking if you're watching later on YouTube. Alright. There's some quests around here, so let me pick some up. Gone to the giant castle north of here, Hyrule Castle. Said to have fallen to ruin over a hundred years ago. I used to sneak in there to salvage ancient treasures, but it's too dangerous to go in there now. Surrounded by an eerie mist and a savage, machine-like creatures. Back when it was safer, I went in looking for ultra-rare equipment that once belonged to the Royal Guard. It's legendary among collectors, but I wasn't able to find any. Yeah. Rumors. Yeah. Are you traveling alone? This inn gets full marks for beauty, so I highly recommend taking a rest here. The river makes for lovely scenery. And if you head northeast from here, you'll find the Millennia Sandbar. The scenery there is a every bit as lovely as the scenery here. I'm something of a connoisseur of beauty, you see. I simply cannot resist the beautiful sight. I try to exude things. I try to exude this in all things, not least of all my own beautiful appearance. Speaking of, has anyone ever told you you have the most beautiful features? <laughs> Someone hitting on Link. Ah, I do have fond memories of this beautiful land. If you have the time, would you indulge me? Sure. You would? Even more beautiful on the inside. Now let's see. If you head north through Hyrule Field, you'll see the castle surrounded by that foul aura. It has long been a den of monsters, but in its glory days, it was surely a thing of wondrous beauty. It was in that very castle in those very days that my ancestor, hmm, I believe my grandfather's grandfather, I believe. Anyway, he worked as the castle's appointed chef. I couldn't believe it myself. Oh, how I wonder what sorts of cuisine members of the royal court enjoyed in those good old days. As a child, I would often suffer meager meals, all while dreaming of the beautiful dishes that might have graced my plate. Oh, if only I had been- if only things had been different. Gourmet spiced meat, seafood curry, mushroom risotto, egg pudding. Oh, my, I think I'm salivating. And it's my pursuit of those childhood dreams that explains the fabulous body you see here. These days I enjoy my time working at these stables, sharing my tales of beauty with any traveler willing to listen. But I still wonder what could have been. Anyway, excuse me, I seem to have caught myself prattling on. But looking upon your perfectly symmetrical face and discussing meals of beauty has rekindled my desire. If you should happen to set foot inside Hyrule Castle, could you find it in you to keep an eye for a cookbook? There must be one lying around somewhere. I'm simply dying to finally sample the food of the royal court. Huh. I mean, wants the food, but not the book or the recipe, so... I'm sure I can find the answer to it, just by looking it up. I will have to go inside that castle eventually. And yes, it will be on three hearts, and I will be retrieving the Hylian shield. Just... Probably not, not for a while. That's gonna be its own thing, it's gonna be a mission to get the shield. Oh, beetles here. Sweet. Did I buy arrows? I think I did yesterday. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Do you have an... No. Still sold out. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh... I need to make more stamina food. Oh. Now, but see with this. <laughs> Oops. That's, that's fine. It's, it's just. I'm lighting things on fire. I'm being an exhibitionist. Could have done it the simple way, but no. I gave them a fireworks display. Oh, 
I'm probably going to be climbing a bunch of flagpoles around this area, so I will need a few of these. That should do. <laughs> what else have I got that I can make? What was it? It was like... One, two... Then one, two... And then salt? <laughs> oh, it's a crit. Damn. Salt. <laughs> These ones are better for more stamina. The skills are just, I guess, quick fixes, but... If I want to have stamina in advance, I'll eat the fish dish. I suppose there's no point to fire fish. I'll do just three. Roughly the equivalent if I was to eat that on its own, so. These are my basic full heals. <laughs> full heal. I need to make a uh, sneaky food as well. Sneaky salt grilled greens, that's all we want. For stealth. Okay, what else? <laughs> I 
think this is one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. So that's like the mid-level resistance. This is the one that I'm going to use later. This combination of like two salt two, it works pretty well. I think I have everything I could possibly want. Okay, let me look at the map now. Okay, uh, I mean, there's a little bit of an area north of me. But that's Lanayru. I can't really see the border anymore. Okay, let's just not go into Lanayru. I'll head this way. Probably a bunch more. We'll be checking the map quite a bit. I haven't crossed this bridge, so there's likely a Korok. I can see one over there. I can see two, actually. Wait, I may have gotten those. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, they've been acquired. Okay, middle of the bridge. There. Yeah, ha -ha. Wait a minute, please think about what you're doing. No, I'm climbing up, you fool. You won't change the world by jumping carelessly to your doom, don't you know? I'm climbing up the bridge! That would only do one thing, and that's drive me batty. Seriously, think of the shock I'd suffer seeing something like that. You're fine, just don't be so careless. There are too many enjoyable things in the world to gamble with your life. I am climbing up the bridge, you moron. <laughs> Don't ever do anything like that again. You seriously almost gave me a heart attack. Aww. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Really, I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, 
those strange things that have popped out of the ground. Did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long, deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. You know what that means, don't you? The end is near. With all the, the craziness happening, I've been thinking... I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? What thing? Talking about that Guardian, of course. Haven't you heard of all stories of Hyrule? Okay. Scout Hill definitely has stuff. Too south. Too south. I'll cover that area once I uh, get that tower. Maybe I should just cross here. It seems unlikely there'd be more. I think around this area has the largest concentration of Korok. But is that a pot lid? No. What? How did that... Oh, I already got a photo of it. That's why. I was like, how did that not register as one? So, 
up until the bridge. All right, that's not going any further than the bridge. I think approaching this from a tower by tower perspective makes sense. Where do I have to dive? Oh, no, it's here. It's on the side. Uh, okay, I guess. I'll just use the, uh, the Zora thing to get back up. Okay, it wasn't the piece, but sure. Wait, didn't I see? Am I going crazy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it is that. It's just... Oh, I think I need to use... Okay, this isn't wise of me. Hang on. <laughs> I need to use uh, cryo to get up. So where is this? Probably shouldn't tempt fate here. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I'll I see the block. Do I really have to take it across? I think I have to take it across.
Oops. It's fine. I mean, it's up there. This wasn't just a clue. <laughs> Shit, this may have just been a clue. Pineapple. I'm not sure what happened there. I think they themselves brought the the balloon down. See one over there. I just have to get the angle right. That should work.
I'm trying to walk up it, so then uh, I should probably just climb. It looked like you could stand on there. Oh. No, can't stand. That's kind of annoying. Because it, it looks like you could. sometimes. I could, I could shoot an arrow, but I have one of these wands. I don't really use them in combat, so that works. Stop slipping! Stop slipping! <laughs> Stop slipping! Ah, oh, come on, man. I just want to make sure that I cover the map pretty well before moving on to the next region. one uh 
Oh, hold on. I need to set up the stuff in between. Okay. If I can get anywhere near 200 before the end of today, that'd be good. I think it's within reason. Especially if I'm exploring around these areas. Seth, how's it going? How's uh, your morning treating you? I, whilst I don't have to go any further here, I will. And then I'll just turn around at the corner. So chilling. Yeah, same, same. Uh, end of the work week, so. Got some food and just uh, playing some of this. I'm going over the areas. Wait, there are red bokoblins. I thought they didn't exist in Master Mode. Do you know what? I guess they kind of have to if you're going to... If you're going to have to do this compendium thing, I guess at least one has to exist. Doc Data Stream wanted to stay away from the additional Tears of the Kingdom spoiler. Yeah, I mean, it was just a three-minute trailer, but uh, it did answer a bunch of things. I don't think it spoils anything story-wise, it just... The point of that trailer was to appease, and I guess ease, appease and ease. <laughs> it was uh, just the concerns people had were so far from what they'd shown, if the game felt more like a, a DLC, but yeah, they just showed a bunch of stuff that's like, okay, yeah, there's, there's a lot to this, clearly. So, that's all I'll say on it. But it didn't, I mean... Aside from what was already shown, from a uh, context of where this story lies, from the initial reveal, nothing really was shown in that respect. You know, it's just one of these things that it's going to be talked about. So it was a good uh, three-minute trailer. salt. It's essential for all the good cooking. Funny thing was, once the trailer was done, didn't really talk much about it. <laughs> Just 
kind of gave my thoughts and then just kept playing and talking about other random stuff. Didn't really dominate the topic of conversation. Not that much, anyway. I'm trying to climb up this way, but there's no benefit to doing so. Okay. It's just making sure this area is covered in my search of Korok. I will climb back up and go through the initial area, just so it's covered. I think today's goal is try to get as close to 200 Koroks as possible. Then I'll, I'll feel a lot better about finding all of them before uh, the end of the month. I'll feel better. More confident that it can be done. Okay, where is this one? There. one's probably up high. If I was to take a guess. This is pretty well designed. It gives you a midpoint, so you can make it up with base stamina. Surprised I didn't get this one. Okay. Ooh, it's a rusty sword.
No, it's just straight up a broadsword. Um... I'm not sure it's better than what I have. I think just leave it. I might regret dropping, but... I can just climb back up again, it's fine. Highly possible one of those flags has one. What's that sound? It's a sleeping one, isn't it? Oh crap. <laughs> I'll know when I get closer to the top. It should have gone off by now if there was one here. You didn't hear anything. throwing rocks at me. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't have one either. I would have heard it by now. Okay. One of these will have one. Probably because that one's very close to the edge, so it's not really a pain to climb it. here as well. Would have heard it by now. <laughs> Gotta check, because I don't remember which one has them and which one doesn't. But I know there's multiple. Oh, 
Oh, come on. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I got lucky. That's a new one. Yeah, that was definitely a fuck you moment. Like, oh, what's that? <sighs> it's amazing how I can still experience new new things that screw my my playthrough over. There are multiple things that have happened during this playthrough where I've been like, huh, that's a new one. <laughs> good. Yeah, good. No, good. I, I didn't want to climb that ladder. That's fine. Thanks. What the fuck? How are they even doing that? Oh my god, fuck. Wow. No, alright, alright, I get it. You don't want me to climb the ladder. Alright. They're still following me. Because I'm being a pacifist and I don't want to attack because I don't want to waste weapons. Okay, do you want you want to fight? Wow. Okay. If you want to fight, come this way. Take the bait. Take the bait. Yeah, that's right, that's right, run! Um, oh, what's that? Now that it's the, si the sound of silence? Don't want to fight anymore? <laughs> they usually go away after a couple, but they just keep... They just kept coming back. They give up pretty quickly. That was just... Particularly with the ladder, like, wow. I've never had them follow, follow me on a ladder. Okay, well... I'm not going past that way. Because I have I have some information about this particular path. There's this large area in the middle. Probably would have heard it by now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Alright, continue up until the bridge and then turn inwards. Okay, that thing has a has a mop. There is one on top of that one. I already found it, so no need to check. Okay, so if I face this way, this is where I should go now. Oh, that's on the other side. Don't worry about that. weird. Just looking at the map. I mean, I guess I would have gone off it if there was something else here. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. It's those two columns there. It's nothing. But worth a check. <sighs> this is pretty much what Korok hunting is, is just zigzagging across the land. I'm just going to ignore that. Just pretend I didn't hear anything. Isn't there something special about these carts? I remember that when you saw a cart, it meant something. Ma? I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join? Shit. I'll pass. What, you're refusing? Why don't you at least hear what I've got to say first? The clan, it's... A powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero, thought long dead. I will take your life. They've started appearing, really? 
Okay. Hold on. Yeah, that's that's it's great. <laughs> it's a crotch shot. It took my photo. <laughs> Was it worth it? I don't even think I got to keep the photo. Do I get to keep the photo at least? I thought the Yiga don't start appearing until you go to the Gerudo area. Guess not, huh? Yeah, it loads it to it. I wonder if this works. You, you know what, there'll be plenty of time for Giga photo later. Just, let's not entertain that. There are some, a few small ones before, but after the Gerudo area they get more tougher variants. The one with the big sword, yeah. But they just become way too common. So, uh, you know, let's just avoid that. not active. Right? Yeah, it's not active. <laughs> it's a neat little trick. How to tell. Point a camera if nothing pops up, you're good. as well. Janky photos. Didn't register because there was grass in the way. <laughs> what is going on over there? 
They're trying to attack that boar. No? Ooh. Careful. I guess I'm the boar now. I've gone a little too far. I'm kind of disappointed that this area seems to be pretty light. I'm gonna continue along the uh the edge. So I think I'm almost uh when I get to that road, I'll go I'll follow the road south. And then that should be it. I should climb back onto the plateau. Okay, well, I see one up there. I should get it. Even though it is out of the region. Okay, this one's nice and easy. They all seem to take the same flight. <laughs> Wait, is this going, going further right? Sort of. Yeah, I mean, look, if they were red, I would help them, but it's just, it's not worth it. I'm gonna lose two, I'm gonna lose a weapon, maybe two weapons, to get just a wooden club. <laughs> it's just not worth it. I think it's a quest to save them, and I will do it eventually, it's just right now, no. I think that's my one complaint about Master Mode, and I'm not really sure how you would address it. Because I get if the enemies have better weapons, then, well, it's bad as well. But, it's just, the incentive to fight is... There's no incentive. You're worse off if you fight.
Unless they have more or less the same weapons you do, it's not really worth fighting. Okay, and then from here... Where's the road? There's the road. Okay, if I follow this road south... Done a little fighting when needed, or sneaking, but a lot of things leaving things be. Then again, also upgrading inventory. But I mean, upgrading your inventory doesn't change the fact that you're gonna... F Let's say I fight this thing. You know, inventory size has nothing to do with it. I'm gonna lose two weapons, and then I'm gonna get a weapon that's inferior in return. And if you keep doing that over and over again, then you're gonna end up with inferior weapons, and then you're not able to beat anything. Like, inventory size, it, it doesn't, doesn't change that ultimate reality. Like, eventually, it, it'll just keep wearing you down to the point where then you have a set of weapons that don't really do much against those enemies. It's, uh, it's a pretty big issue. Oh, you want to fight? The biggest issue you have about Master of the Mode is the fact that the Master Sword can break. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Everyone complains about the durability. It doesn't so much break it. it does the shattering animation, but then it needs to recharge. It's also, you know, before the, uh, the DLC. <laughs> it wasn't the strongest sword as well. I think that was, that was more egregious than the weapon needing recharging. I think it was just funny that there were swords that were just straight up better. So, hello, Lanius. Good morning, yes. Good morning to you. It is, uh, evening for me. 1.30, there we go. Nighttime is easier for getting free weapons. Yeah, you just sneak around, but... Uh, number one tip is just... Mark where all the Hinox are and just steal weapons from Hinox. There's practically one in every area, so... Know where they are, and that's that's your source of weapons. You either float on top of their belly and steal it, or you shoot their eye, and then once they're on the ground and, and in pain, you can steal it as well. So, it's a nice and easy source of weaponry. Oh, come on, really? I cut that one a little close. <laughs> that one was probably a little too close. It's okay, I didn't die. When enemies are at low health, they drop their weapons and getting knocked back. I'm sure they do, but I was just saying this before, it's just... Most of the enemies... For, like, the... On average, they'll have weapons that are just inferior. So you'll end up breaking one weapon and perhaps, like, making a second one very close to breaking, if not breaking. And then the weapon you get for doing that is just... It's inferior than any other two you were using to beat that enemy in the first place. So it's, it's just not worth it. 
The only enemies where you get somewhat of a trade-off is the Lionels and the Hinox. Because the Lionels, at the very least, they drop a the triple shot bow, which is pretty invaluable. It's a good trade to do that. Um, and, you know, pretty good damage swords. And the, uh, the Hinox, I mean, you can beat them, they're not too hard, and they do give stuff that's good for potion crafting, so... Other than that, all, like, the lizards, um, the, the, just, the coblins and moblins, they're just not worth it. The style versions are worth it because, you know, they, they die pretty easily. They're fine. But the standard ones, it's just, it's not worth it. I think it would have been a better idea to just make them do more damage, but then keep them at their standard values or something like that. So they didn't have more health, but just did more damage. Then it's like a risk-reward thing. It's kind of... It doesn't take too much effort to take them down, but if you don't watch yourself, they can mess you up something fierce. I think that would have been much better instead of, you know, just them soaking up a million damage, wearing out your weapons... And then you don't really get anything rewarding for it when you beat them. Like, it's just... I don't know. Okay, so... And they've been pretty consistent here, so now I'm gonna explore around the Great Plateau. And just do Koroks here. And then I can go back to, uh... Yeah, don't worry about that. Hatino, Kakariko, all that stuff. And from there, continue as normal. So, like, these are fine to fight because they die quickly. Okay, that blockade is just to get to the shrine. There's nothing really special there. I don't think there are Koroks here just because it's too annoying to get them with the lasers. <laughs> I'll be fine. I mean, I could probably deal with them, but I can't be bothered. I don't want to increase that death counter unnecessarily. Sort of rules out that area. In terms of uh, there being Koroks there. I could fight it. Like, I have weapons and could probably get it done, but do I want to now? Not really. <laughs> I will fight one eventually. The red one's enough for now.
at how uh, sparkly it is now. Okay, I need to revisit the uh, Shrine of Resurrection. But I mean, here I, th I think I was pretty thorough. I'll quickly glide across, but... I think I was pretty thorough here. Okay, <laughs> didn't see me. It's the one with the the two hander as well. Out of all the Lionels, that's the that's the one where I uh, I couldn't get the fight down reliably. Eventually, I would have to resort to bomb arrows. I was gonna say, climb onto the roof, dude. This one... Can't believe I missed it. just a treasure chest down there. Okay. They're gonna throw rocks at me. weird. Can I blame them for being minions? Not really. Can't remember if I should be going down or not. Around this corner here. There is something here, but it's not, it's not a Korok. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's see. Oh no, is that rain that I'm hearing? Ah! Well, that just means I can't climb. Plain and simple, like, I can't climb this right now. This, this is just a thing. 
Oh, come on. Did it really just slip on the first go? I wanted to explore up there, but now I can't. I wouldn't be able to get up reliably. It's too annoying. Well, I mean, while it's raining, I, I guess I should turn to the lake behind me. Because I know there's a Korok on that little island, so I may as well go there. I'm just going to do a lap of this edge here. I don't mind this is a thing, this mechanic of like, oh no, it's raining, it's slippery, that's fine. It's just, if there was a way to counter it, that would be ideal, but there isn't. And hopefully in Tears of the Kingdom, they have something that you can wear that allows you to climb in the rain. Even if you don't get it right away, that's fine. Just... It's something that gets old very, very quickly. around the perimeter. Okay, there's one. If I hadn't have gone into that corner, I would have made it to where I wanted to be. <laughs> okay, I see that. Wait, is that anything? Maybe it's not. Okay, I, th I thought I saw a little stone on the top of this hill, but nah.
I'm not going to get the towers until I move to the, the next region. I'm going to be very systematic about this. It's just... The, this is a result of ruined plans because of the rain. There's a Karak. I'm hoping by the time I do a lap of the lake, it'll stop raining. That is my hope. Looks like it's clearing up, unless that's just daytime. Oh, 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 <laughs> okay. I'm gonna cut across it. Oh, yeah, no, I don't want to mess with that. Not yet. Just get above the clouds to avoid the rain. Wrong game. I'm sure that'll be a valid strategy in the next one. Hello, is it Twitch yet? Oh crap, there are lizards here. There's definitely one here. Also this. Yeah, you know what? Let's go. May as well. Yeah. Which one is this one? It's, okay, for a sec there I thought it was going to be a combat one. It's not.
It almost looked like it was going to be a combat one because it was a small room. I thought, oh no. Shatter the heavens. Oh, this one's fun. Why didn't that one? Oh, no, no, no. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yep. This is working both bombs together. The funny thing is, the first time I did this, I think I just shot bomb arrows at the ceiling and couldn't be bothered. <laughs> but this is what you're supposed... Well, I say it's supposed to, but, like, you know, the... Probably the intent of it. That's, I think, the better thing to say. I thought it was in the corner there. That's okay. Probably not worth the effort. I knew there was a chest up there that I had to glide to. Just did not know where roughly it was. I mean, almost a fifth of the way there. Wait, no. It's 120, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost a quarter of the way there. Ah, uh, imagine if I got out here and it was raining again. <laughs> I mean, it, it does look pretty miserable. Okay, I've been there. Just, just checking. I swear there's a Korok here, but maybe I got it wrong. There's gotta be at least one. Yeah, see, I thought so. One, 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 one. What is that lizard doing? 
Did it notice me? Oh! Fuck. Hang on, eat something quick. Not now, come on. You asshole. I'm gonna I might have to deal with these. Just that, that spitting thing they do. Oh yeah, more, yeah, more of them, yeah. Yeah, more of them, yeah, yeah, more of them, yeah, more of them, yeah, of them. yeah dude. Give me more. One being a dickhead wasn't enough. Climbing. Really? How, how does a dead one spit? How does something that is undead spit? Bomb. Okay, let's get off this island. There's nothing left here. Oh shit. I'm not sure that's gonna hit. Come on, why can't you ride the updraft, Link? Hot shot. I doubt it's gonna hit. Alright, keep going. The music is there, but I'm just not gonna be able to get to it. There was an updraft, but for some reason just didn't do anything. That was a fun little endeavor. Snake dragon. I forget which one that one is.
But in Skyward Sword, that's the one that uh, does boss rush. not having the same thing happen again where I'm trying to climb and those things mess me up. Finally get back up here. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna head straight across. And we'll go from the Temple of Time. I gotta head back to the Shrine of Resurrection because there is a Korok there. Yeah, let's just, uh, yep. Just ignore that. Hopefully it can't see me. Probably in one of these trees. Nope, it's here. Okay. I'll get it again. Yeah, ha. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little close.
God. Oh. Man, they're very quick to throw rocks. my heater. Portable heater. Using a fire sword as a portable heater is kind of badass. I mean, that's a wand, but when I have this one, yeah. <laughs> this is, you'll all, I'll always have this weapon on me. Kind of a cool detail. How does it not burn his back? <laughs> eh, well. When he slides down a hill, how does the skin on his feet remain intact? There's a bunch of questions that need to be asked about walking around naked. I guess the other thing about these swords is they activate like a fire move, but they're not on fire. Another one here. I kind of figured. 
Ooh, this one's gonna be annoying. I don't, again, I don't want to waste weapons just because I have to hit this off. Did that even move? I don't think it did. Uh, I might have to cave here. Uh, this is the weakest weapon, so let's just... I mean, that's also the other reason I don't want to do it. Whee! <laughs> You're thinking more like a seatbelt buckle that's been in the song t too long. Yeah, it doesn't have to be in the sun to uh to get hot enough to hurt you. Take it from an Australian that has a very very huge concern about getting into his car in the summer when it's completely underground in a car park and yet still gets hot enough for it to burn you despite being in the shade. <laughs> I think it would have gone off. There's probably one over there with those trees. But I'll have to take a guess at the top of one of them. Maybe not. This is the one that I marked. If we look at the map. This is the one that I marked out. Because you could see it on the map. Okay, okay. Like almost 20 Koroks so far today. It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> 
this one here. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, this is bad. I hope there's a way back up. <laughs> I'm sort of on a cliff here, so, you know, there's not a lot of areas I can go to. Other than further down, which I don't want to do. I'm hoping the biome will change the moment I touch snow. Like here? Maybe? Please? Uh, this sucks. I don't want to go further down. Okay, good. I hear the snow music. We're good, we're good, we're good. What? what oh, I see. <laughs> Got stuck. Link! No! Get back up! Damn it. Oh, so annoying. This, you should be able to. Why? Why are you slipping? I was standing on it perfectly fine before. I think it stopped raining. Okay, it stopped raining. I can go up another way. I was just afraid to jump further down because it was going to slip. The sad part is I think I might have to drop even further down, but let's just pay no attention to that for the time being. a move right there. I was taking advantage of every last bit of stamina to get up there.
Okay, I know this is a little counterintuitive, but... This wraps around this part, at least. Climb back up. But it's probably. We'll see. stamina food here. That's fine. That's what I made all that food for. <laughs> Situations like this. Where it's just, yeah, look, I'm gonna have to eat it. Okay, we're good. Oh, here's another neat little side effect. Instead of wasting a fire arrow, which I guess this it shows how hot the sword is, but it does melt stuff. <laughs> if you stand next to it, it does work. So, you know what? It's probably not good that Link has this on his back. It's better than wasting a fire arrow. Doesn't take that long either. completely forgot about this type of Korok. Hey. <laughs> yeah. All right, 140. I gotta turn back. I mean, considering I've only really been to three regions properly. It's a, it's a solid amount of Koroks. Okay. 
should continue along here. Oh, no. Wait, Ryan here? Okay, I need to put the wand on now. That's why I have the wand, because it doesn't count as something metallic and it still keeps me warm. Sometimes there is overlap. have to deal with so much. Now lightning on a mountain. We're nearly done with this section. I would have thought there, there could have been more. I mean, if I look over the edge here, there might be something. Yeah, down here, what is this? It's 
seems like if I go down that way, there's no coming back up for a while. And with lightning, it's... Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> Constant rain. So this is a top of the Shrine of Resurrection now. There is a Korok, it'll make a sound, but it's probably referring to the one inside the Shrine itself. Hmm, or not. There's definitely one on the inside, so I'll go get it. making the sound. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, this, this one might be the Shrine of Resurrection one. Yeah, it's most likely the Shrine of Resurrection one. Okay, I think I, I think I'm good. I think I've done the perimeter of this properly now. All right, since it's stopped raining, I'm gonna go to that ledge just to be thorough. Okay. I 
think it's here. It's probably nothing, but, you know. In the name of being thorough. They didn't think it was anything. Not sure I can get back up this way. Yeah, this <laughs> this first part is just gonna be me combing every part of the land for Korok. I'll do some shrines, it's just, I wanted to get the Great Plateau and, um, I guess, what is it, Nekluda? Those two towers, more or less sorted. And then I can go back to Kakariko's Tower and Hatino, and those, they have shrines there that I haven't done. It's just it's such a delicate balance trying to stand still, but also not stand still long enough that you slip. I get the feeling I won't be able to climb back up here. Unless I eat another skewer, which honestly, uh, it'll probably save me the time. I got enough of them, so. Alright, uh, I think it's safe to say the snow area is done. I'm gonna head out the other exit of it. I'll just simply glide across this area and I'm done. Wait, what is that I'm seeing down there? Oh, that's... no, that's not Plateau. I can ignore that. That's not the Great Plateau. Wow, more rain! And half of the stream is just rain.
Now, at the start of this playthrough, there was this tree here that I was very stubborn with trying to get an apple, and I wonder if it even was a Korok. Well, the mask is not going off, so it would seem that I was wasting my time. not everyone. Wait, it was not an everyone apart from me thought that. Yeah, well, I mean, I'd rather try it and be wrong than not try it at all and I'll regret not looking. Keep collecting those. Ooh, another one. These are gonna get me goodies with Beetle. The stealth suit makes getting critters easy. I like doing this. Because this makes less noise. Also, not wearing armor makes me a little stealthy. I don't understand how this makes less noise. the stealth suit you can just run and stand on top of them. Yeah, I'm sure. Unfortunately, you know, when you're not allowed to wear clothing, that sort of rules that out. Well, I did get this one, but let me just... No, oh, it's not one. It's just a cave teaching you about flint. That should deal with them. to be super stealthy I got stealth food as well so
This should have one, surely. At the top. No? That's surprising. Okay, well... There we go. This way? Yeah. Wow, it's raining again. Imagine trying to to climb. Hang on, my phone. I don't want it to think like other people's stuff's going off. Okay, anyway. I think it's fairly safe to say there's nothing in the middle. It's the thing about Koroks is you can pretty much rely that they won't be in the middle of a camp. It's it's rare that that happens. So as long as I get close enough to being near it. I've also been on the lookout for the Traveler's Sword for the kid in the village that wants to see one, but I still haven't seen it yet. Touch. Hit. 
There's one. Where is it? Okay, it's this way. Oh. Alright, this was a simple one. Seem to have not come across the talus yet, which is interesting. I want to collect all 100. I mean, there's a month until the release of Tears, so I'm going to do what I can with whatever time is left. I'm not going to play this game beyond the release date of Tears of the Kingdom, so whatever I can do in that time, that's what it's going to be. That's the budget I've, I've set for this game. Maybe I'll get everything done. Who knows? I mean, for now I'm working like as if I'm going for the goal, but I'm not, I won't be that distraught if uh, I don't get it done. I mean, it's more about the three heart play mode and not spending anything until I get, potentially get everything. I think given I've only visited three regions properly and I have about 150, it's pretty decent. I think it's really only two regions I've done properly. This would be the third one, once it, I've cleared everything. Even then, I'm sure I've missed one or two along the way, but... surprised for some reason you can't get at the start but it is there This was on Link the entire time.
Yeah, that Korok was there the whole time. The only reason you know about that one is because you do have to come back for the... I forget which one, but you have to go back to the Shrine of Resurrection for something, and then it's like, oh, there's a Korok here. This is where the Talus is. I should be marking it as that. Those are Talus. Oh, come on. I, I didn't even go anywhere near that thing. You have to go back there for the DLC. Yeah, you do. Anyway. It is there. I'm not interested in fighting the Talus. I've already fought one. Although, hold on. Does this count as just a plain Talus? Let's see. Yeah, it's just a plain one. So, take a photo. I just wanted to visit this area because I hadn't walked through it yet. Okay, I think... Pretty thorough coverage of the forest. I can leave the Great Plateau now. It's just this area over here. There might be one over there as well. Ignore them. It's fine. Hmm. I don't remember if there's any around here. I'll have a look. Oh wow, more rain. <laughs> Gee. That's all it's been. At least half of today has just been rain.
I'm just running through areas where there's a bit of a visual gap. Oh, what the heck? What's what's with all the arrows? Is this always here? Why are there like 50,000 arrows here? <laughs> I mean, cool. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm sure there's a limit to this. No, come on. There has to be a limit to this. There's no way I can fully stock up on arrows here. What do you mean? I think it's... No, I'm still picking them up. Okay, I think it stopped. Still, I mean, there was easily 20 arrows. I'll take it. <laughs> Hello, color, and happy Friday. Alright, I think we're done here. TGIF. <laughs> Yep. Just get through the day. Yeah, so that big area is where the Lionel is roaming, so I doubt there's anything there. Maybe under the bridge? No, okay. Then yeah, this, this area is done now. All right, <sighs> nothing about rain. I hope wherever I go next, it's just, it stops raining. <laughs> Hello, Messiah, how are you? Hello, beautiful people. Let me see. I've been zigzagging around. Just, uh, completing. I mean, I guess I haven't really done too much here, forest-wise. I guess if I cut straight across here, I might find something. Right? Yeah. Oh, because it's all just big. It's just a big field. And hills. It's, it's nothing really. It's raining there too, coincidence. Well, it's stopped now. <laughs> no, it's been kind of on and off here. Wait, hang on. What did I just see? I think I'm imagining it. Okay, so... I'm gonna now head towards the Kakariko region, like around here, and start looking. But, yeah, that's it. I've backtracked and looked around the previous area, so now I can just continue and we go tower by tower I'm sure I've missed some here and there but for the most part I, I should have gotten most of them I only died once today. Hey, 
but other than that, it's just been me running around and climbing. Not a whole lot. I think I did one or two shrines here and there, but... Jinxed, what, because I died? Are you saying that, like, I'm just welcoming more death <laughs> by saying that I've only died once? Tried to save me. I mean, I'll, I'll be okay. I, I know I'm gonna die again. It's going to happen. And the death that was understandable was just one of those Yiga members. Wasn't aware that they could appear still. Despite not going to the uh, Gerudo area. It's my fault. I took. A, I was trying to take a photo of it instead of running, and yeah. I took a photo of the Yiga's crutch, and then I died. I wish I was making it up, but that's, that's what happened. I wasn't intentionally trying to take a photo of the crutch, it's just- that's just what happened. When everything was in motion. Raining again. <laughs> Just when I, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead in this direction and climb. Unintentional crotch shot sounds sus. I mean, you can choose to believe it or not. Okay, there was a Korok. I already got it. Unfortunately, the render distance didn't let me see that. I had to jump in. Where does this take place where there's just so much rain?
I, I need to climb, but... Hope we can build an umbrella. I mean, you can build almost anything by the looks of it. Just, you know, experiencing rain like this, it, it really makes me hope that they do something. Well, I mean, you can stick multiple objects together so you can, with your imagination, build anything. But I, I hope that they allow us to have a way to be able to climb in the rain because it gets old pretty, pretty quickly. When you're trying to explore and then it's like, ha ha, ha ha, it's going to rain for five minutes and then it's going to stop and then it's going to start raining again. You're not allowed to do anything in that time. You want to build a kangaroo megazord? I mean, I'm sure there are people that are going to do crazy things with the building. You can watch the rain. Yeah. You know, honestly, when I... Because I played this off stream. I used to just walk away and get a drink or something. Because it was just... This is what would happen. It's just, okay, I'm just not allowed to do anything. Any progress I'm trying to make, it's, it's just... I can't. Okay, what is here? You know, the other thing I've noticed is it looks like there's going to be way more enemy variety as well. It's not just going to be the standard four enemies. They need to make some armor item that allows climbing in the rain. Yeah. To be honest, when I played this one and I saw there was a climbing set, I was like, oh, I need to complete this set. Because I bet the set bonus is it lets you climb in the rain. Nope. <laughs> I was- I was super disappointed. I just don't know how... ...someone could playtest this, play this for multiple hours and be like, hmm. You know what? Maybe it rains a little too much. Maybe that- that would be annoying for the player. Getting into a position where they can't really do anything. Even with a lot of stamina, it's still just irritating. Also, I died. Yeah. I, I accounted for it. That was like two hours ago, but yes. I drowned two minutes ago. That wasn't a death. That was just drowning. It didn't say game over. That's just resetting your position. Yes, I allegedly had some hearts left over. There was no game over screen. I mean, otherwise jump, like if I was to jump off an edge and it would reset my position. 
like in a in a shrine, then be the same thing. Okay, I can see why I didn't come up this way. Yeah, this is a little spooky. I'm gonna put this back on because it's gonna get cold. This is a talus, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> this is, uh... This is a talus as well. I mean, I'll keep walking to the end, but I doubt there's anything there. Oh, there's a chest. I don't know why he kicks it. <laughs> Clearly hurts his foot. I guess because I'm standing behind it. I wonder if the Guardians are going to be in the sequel. I haven't seen them yet in any of the trailer material. But... You would assume that they, they got that under control. After this game. Why? Okay, uh... I mean, that trait does look suspicious, but... I guess I can swing by. Don't see me, you don't see anything. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. 
Just hope it doesn't see me. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one saw me? I don't know which one saw me. I can't tell which one saw me. <laughs> I heard the music go. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be problematic. Okay, uh. Ooh. I'll knock it off! <laughs> Not safe anywhere. Okay, I'm... Oh. It's okay. It's <laughs> not cool. I'm kind of, uh... Yeah. Okay, go this way. I'll be fine. There will be no death here. What is, what, hello? There we go. Oh crap, another one? This is the one that has it on its back, so it's not worth fighting. Where are we? Uh, okay. I should continue along here. Wait, is it here or up there? Hang on. No, I should definitely drop down then. Forty-five. I think I'm doing a good job given it's only been a, a small handful of regions I've gone to and it's almost 150. Like, yeah, look. This is... It's pretty much just this area here that I've done thoroughly, and maybe a bit of here. Haven't looked at this area at all. Aside from the path. So, it's not bad. It brings me a little bit of confidence that I can find them all before the new game releases.
I'm just looking. I guess I'd, I'd want to look a little bit more here. Surely I got the one by this bridge. Let's see. Yeah, I did. All right, cool. I don't know how I'm going to take a photo of those birds. Hoss. I'm going to stop in the... Beetle is over there. I don't think I've gotten the rumors from here. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice you. I was a bit lost in thought there. I've been doing rigorous research day and night to figure out the mystery of the Blood Moon. Blood Moon? You don't know it? That's inexcusable. Listen up and I'll tell you about it. For 100 years now, every so often when the clock strikes midnight, the sky turns red and the full moon rises. At that moment, monsters that had been previously defeated will come back to life. And that's what's known as the Blood Moon. Why do the monsters return to life? Why does it only happen when the sky turns red? No one really has the answers to those questions. It's a mysterious phenomenon. Okay. I can give you directions. Directions to what? What do you think of this place? Pretty nice. It might be a bit hard to imagine now. But this place was nearly destroyed about a hundred years ago. However, thanks to the blessings of the dueling peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There is a lot of energy in this place. So where are you headed? Both Kakariko and Hatino are nearby. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, this is early. Is there a listen option? Pay no mind to little bro's chatter from before. So it means it's a ghost treasure. Ah, shoot. Well, can't say I didn't try to throw him off. Hey, Dak, why don't we just tell him? Maybe he'll leave us alone if we do. I mean, if we can't figure this riddle out, there's no way someone like him will be able to. That's a good point. We're after nothing less than the treasure of Misko, the Great Bandit. Finding it would be would mean incredible riches. I'm not about to give this information for free. I'm no fool. That's the keen sense of the strongest treasure hunter at work. No gold left behind. Not by Dumadak. You're great, Dak. A oh. hundred. Nah. Anyway, Miss Ghost Treasure, not that we were talking about it, such a thing is only for the best of treasure hunters. That probably rules you out, Bob. What if I've already found it? There's always the possibility that I'll pay them, but then I've already found it. Hey. Wow. You appear to have a bladed rhino beetle. Beetle loves radal, uh, <laughs> bladed rhino beetles. Would you consider giving it to me? You got something in return. How about I trade you for a meat and rice bowl? Do it. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're even more awesome than I thought you were. I will cherish this beetle you have given me for the rest of my days. Anyway, back to business. I mean, what does he do with them? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about taking one of those apples. Apparently, anything lying here is up for grabs. I don't want to know. I'm sure it's perfectly innocuous. Goats. Doggo. Oh, but there's like a quest here. Horse taming competition. Hmm. Hey, I saw the look you gave me. Fine. You don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You and me, right here, right now. I want to challenge... You want to challenge the second place horse... Okay. That's the spirit. The only rule is you must bring a wild horse back to the spot within the time limit. Okay, any of them will do. Okay. Um, well, the way we do this quite simply is, and I prepared for this. the rock, don't you dare. <laughs> How you doing? It's like... There we go. waiting till whenever. Amazing. But I can't believe you beat my two minute record so easily. I mean, I won second place in the Hyrule horse taming competition. To be fair, it was just my brother and I competing. <laughs> anyway, here's the purse for winning the second official Hyrule horse taming competition. You earned it. Okay. Thank you, horse. You may go now. All right, chat. Look at look at this debate here. One of the children says it's nay, n a y, and the other one says it's nay, n e i g h. Which is it? Aww. Hey, Shiva. You think this nosy guy right here is interested in horses? Aww. Looks like it to me, Darton. Judging from his eyes, he's just itching to get in the, into the saddle. You're right. He's got eyes that just say like. Nothing in this world matters to me except horses. That means... That means... That means we've got ourselves a customer. Howdy, Mr. Man. Welcome to Dueling Peak Stables. Or, welcome to the front of Dueling Peak Stables, I guess. You really can tell just by looking into his eyes. Bro, his head is just filled with horse stuff, right? That's right. Just look at his eyes. Right now in his head, it's all horses, 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 food and horses, right? In that case, you should feel free to ask us anything at all about horses. Do you want to hear some tips? Yay or nay? <laughs> I didn't think of that joke, by the way. That's one of my dad's jokes. Good horses. Horses with spots on them are e even-tempered and easy to train. On the other hand, horses that are all one color, straight black or white, are a bit more wild and harder to train. A one color horse has far more stamina and runs faster, right? Dad said they're hard to handle at first, but... If you spend time with a one-color horse, you'll be best buds. Okay, so everyone's saying it's nay. N-E-I-G-H. So I don't know what's up with that other kid. Dad also said that beginners should start with spotted horses. When I grow up, I'll 
ride a one color horse for sure. Hey, mister, you got all that? Dad taught us a lot. Just leave, in, leave the horse around to us. I'm good. Well, there you go. I guess that kid got destroyed. I've never heard anyone refer to it as N-A-Y. Like that, typically that just means no. It's like a naysayer, right? Ooh, there's a bridge I haven't crossed over there. Oh, but it's like a... It is barely a bridge, but there might be a Korok there. That's why I haven't crossed the bridge, because it's enemies. I feel like I wasted the stealth food, but it's okay. That's pretty easy to make. Okay, so let's see. Head up the northern path. I do need to stop and see Impa, and maybe now it'll progress the uh, the shrine thing. Oh, and with Tears of the Kingdom, how I said I, I recognize uh, Ganon's voice, it's because I knew I recognized it. It's confirmed that the voice actor for Ganon's going to be Matthew Mercer. So that's why I recognize the voice. I'm like, that voice sounds familiar. That would be why. Is this Beetle again? Wow. Oh. I mean, I might sell stuff. <laughs> I 
I thought the nay was like a response to, you know, what? Matt Mercer's gonna be playing Ganon? Nay. Nay. Nay indeed. I'll sell 10, I got a lot of these. I mean, chat was just agreeing with the kid on the right. They were debating about what sound does a horse make? And one of them said it was N-A-Y. To be honest, you'd love to hear Matt say nay. <laughs> Probably would. If he voiced uh, a horse that could speak. Like, if Bojack Horseman was still a thing and he had a guest star appearance. Oh, no. Yep, that's a, that's a very dangerous one right there. Oh. Shit. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. I hate this. Well, the the prob the problem is they're just standing there, and I'm, I don't even talk to them. It's just if I pass a certain point, they automatically just go for you. So it's not that I, I had a chat with the dude. It's just oh, game was like nope, you pass the invisible uh, invisible line. It's okay. It's gone now. This time, I, I just walked away, <laughs> instead of trying to take a photo. There was no crotch photo this time. You have to go and look because you got housework to do. No, that's fine. I mean, how dare you be a responsible adult and not just watch me play video games all day? Yeah, we're not talking to you. We'll be lucky to talk to that. All right. I'm in stealth. I can just walk up. <laughs> have fun with the, the housework, Messiah. I'll probably have to do some tomorrow as well. Well, I mean... I guess the nice thing about the stealth food is I can just run around and... There's not much consequence. Unless it's a scripted consequence. Fun. <laughs> it depends what you have to do, but, you know... Sometimes if you throw music on, time passes. Same fun when I do baseball mini games, but at least people are entertained then. I mean, just because there's a little bit of suffering doesn't mean you can't have fun. Hmm, I wonder. It is. Hey, grab, grab, grab tree. <laughs> Why didn't you grab tree? Time to crank up music. Yeah, well. Hope time goes quickly. But yeah. Have fun. <laughs> I don't know why I just say have fun. That's the inner Australian thing. It's just a generic response. 
Let's just say, yeah, oh, yeah, have fun. Yeah. Yeah, have a good time, yeah? I don't know what else to say. Yeah, clean that house. <laughs> Show that house who's boss. Ah, no! Come on! <laughs> this just keeps happening. Ah! I'm so tired of this happening. Every time I want to climb something. Said, hey, this is this is this is the stream. I mean, I guess I can still get up. At least there's a waterfall here. The Breath of the Kingdom will, I mean, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom will be game of the year if it lets me climb up in the fucking rain. Breath of the Kingdom. Tears of the Wild. I blame the rain. Tears of the Wild. <laughs> yep, that's that's what happens when you die. It's Tears of the Wild. Am I am I up? Where am I? Did the Korok get acquired? Okay, the Korok is acquired. That's where I died. So at least it was merciful. It's because I jinxed myself earlier, please. That was an hour ago. It's within the statute of limitations <laughs> on that one. If I would have died 10 minutes later, sure, but that's it's been an hour at least. There have been times where I'll say stuff like, oh, I, di I did this to stay alive and then before I can finish my sentence, I'll be dead. That's That's typical of me cursing myself. That's what it looks like. I just can't believe how much it's been raining. It's been at least half of the time I've been playing today has has been raining. Maybe it's springtime. I mean, here, yeah, <laughs> depends where this is set, but if you're talking about, like, a place where I am, it's pretty much any time that's not summer. Winter's probably the time where it rains the most, but... Why am I trying to climb this? I suppose if I keep doing this, it should work. That's pretty safe to say that I've looked at everywhere I can look. I need to turn around. I 
pretty much once I clear this area, then go to Hatina, clear that area, and then new tower, new shrines, all that stuff. I want to try and hit about 200 Koroks before the end of the night. I don't know if that's a realistic goal, but it's one that I'm going for. Outside of this game, I do like it when it's like this. Especially if I'm not in the rain and it's warm. I don't know, there's just something relaxing about it. Just looking, I should turn that way. I don't think I need to climb all these, but there is a set of trees somewhere here. I marked it. Where is it? Perfectly that direction. Okay. Oh, you know what I, I learnt of today? I mean... Melbourne and Sydney, pretty much a lot of the Australian East Coast is quite a bit of a hipster culture, particularly here. But I learned that people have started making coffee inside an avocado, and I don't know if that's just to troll or a meme, like it's a boomer troll, but I think, I think it's, uh, they're being serious. <laughs> There are places that, that do deconstructed food as well. And it's like... Deconstructed? Yeah, coffee and an avocado. Let me find a photo. It's in an avocado skin, to be clear. It's from a cafe in, in Melbourne. Um, one sec. Okay, there's the image. Yeah, look at this chat. I don't know. Could say that's that's bait. That is a uh, boomer bait right there, but I I think the that they're a uh, hundred percent being serious. But yeah, I mean, there, there are places that do deconstructed things, and some of it is, is, it's just, okay, you put it together, whatever, and then there's others where it's like, come on, man, a deconstructed coffee, really, you're gonna make me do everything? Why don't I just stay home and make it myself at that point? Hang 
climb? Do I need to climb this one? No, it's over here. I mean, would you try it? I I don't know. The thing is, avocados for me, because of you know heritage being Central American, right? Avocado is used in savory things. So for it to be used with coffee like that, it, it, it's just weird. And there's a thing in Southeast Asia where they will make smoothies with avocado. And it'll have chocolate syrup in it. And I just, I, I can't bring myself to want to try it. It's what I think it's like avocado condensed milk and then it's um like this chocolate syrup thing. Versus what I'm used to, which is effectively like guacamole. Which is uh, like a mayonnaise substitute. It'd be like drinking mayonnaise. <laughs> I view it as. Also, hello, Spackling. Welcome. Ew. Yeah, but I mean, people swear by it. They say it's it's pretty good. But I just I can't get over it because it's just what I've been conditioned, what I'm acclimated to. Let's say not conditioned, but you know. Avocado being something that's a mayonnaise substitute, typically. And then drinking it? I don't know, man. Drinking what? In some parts of Southeast Asia, they make avocado smoothies. So it's like avocado, um, condensed milk, and then a chocolate syrup. Oh, let me get a picture of it. I was just, I don't know if you caught what I was talking about. The reason it came up is because I learned that there was a cafe here where I am in Melbourne um, that started doing this. <laughs> so I just wouldn't be able to bring myself to it. And then I brought up the whole thing where people have smoothies with avocado as well. Like, uh, let me see. Let's see if I can find the reps. Uh-oh, hold on. <laughs> Before I... I, uh, I die. I have this movie with syrup. I think that's the one that I want. Yeah, this is the one. It's, I think it's really common in Indonesia of all places, but I do know other Southeast Asian countries do it as well. Uh, this is what it looks like, chat. But, you know, I grew up with avocado, and I'm sure others have as well. It's, the way you typically have it is kind of like a mayonnaise substitute. I'm sure that they do everything that's required to make it taste like a sweet drink. I'm sure if you try it, it tastes like a a sweet drink and it has the consistency of a milkshake. I'm sure that's the case. But I just can't, I can't bring myself to do it. There's a guardian in the top right. Oh, I know. I'm avoiding it. I'm just looking for Koroks. That's all. I'm going around the map, just clearing. I guess I should go down the slope. How am I going to do this? Maybe I should go back into the village and then go down the slope. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I just need to be handed it and drink it and not be told what it is. But see, that's the thing. I, I would have to be blindfolded. If it's green and it has... If it looks like that, I know what it is. That's the problem. I know what it is. You can't fool me. Because there's nothing else that would 
be that consistency. And be that colour. And where this would be sold, it would be probably in an Asian restaurant. So I'd be able to guess. It'd be like, yeah, this is 100% um, avocado. So, yeah. It's fine. There's a Korok in the valley next to me. I'm sure there is. I'll get to it eventually. go see uh, Impa first. There are a few Southeast Asian drinks that kind of took me a while to want to try them. Or I guess concepts. Like they had... Uh, like they use bean in desserts and stuff. And that's another one of those things where it was just a mental switch. Is, you know, for me, bean is associated with savory, not sweet. Oh, not this old lady. I'm not... <laughs> I'm just doing a little bit of parkour. No one is touching your plum trees. It's just doing this. Pura was giving you the runaround, but you seem just fine. Now then, let me see. Oh. Aha, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used a hundred years ago. It could be that if you visit the locations within these pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here when you have tried going to at least one of those locations. There is something I wish to give to you. Yeah. I mean, I do want to progress it so then I can do this thing, but... At the same time, I want to be pretty... Pretty systematic about going around to the different regions. Okay, let me look at the album. Okay, this one's... Yeah, this is probably the one that I can realistically go to. Because that's not that far away. I mean, it's, it's over that way. I guess when I go get the Hatino Tower, I could go pop in the... Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'll leave Lineru for now, for later.
When's food? I'm bored. Wanna play? Yay, what will it be? What will it be? Hide and seek. Yay. I'll go hide. But, uh, gotta go home to sis when it's dinner time, okay? I'll play. What should Coco make now? Oh, hot buttered apple sounds good. Mother used to make it all the time. Apples and goat butter. I don't have goat butter. Coco is a bad daughter who can't do anything right. Coco will never be like mother. Wait, I don't have goat butter. Do I? Voila. Okay, I don't have it. I was gonna say. They might sell it here. Yeah, they do. Ah. Oh. Oh. No, not swift carrots. There you go. Are you sure about this? Really? Thank you so much. Coco means it. Stay right there for a second. Okay. Nice. Chat, have you ever had honey butter chips? Potato chips. Or crisps, whatever, whatever you subscribe to in terms of uh, calling them, honey butter flavored. They're pretty good. No, but they sound good. They are pretty good. We have honey barbecue as well. We have honey ham. But honey butter is pretty good. It... It's a... The ones that I had were Korean. So if you have an Asian grocery store, you might be able to find some of that. But the brand that I had were Korean. And they were really good. Like a kettle cooked chip and then honey butter flavor. A bug. Huh. 
I don't think the kid gets... Gets super creative with the hiding spot. Do I like spicy foods? Yeah. The... I don't have it as much as I used to. I'm going potato chips, the ones that I will typically get will be, they have like this, uh, it's just salt and, uh, it's just chili. I think it's just jalapeno chili, but it's very simple. Super salty. Tastes good. Hey, there's Kotla. Oh, she's going home already. Oh, well. What's the most spicy thing I ate? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. That's the thing, because it's not stuff that has a rating, like a Scoville thing. But here in Melbourne, we have a lot of Chinese restaurants, so food from places that do stuff from the Sichuan area, pretty spicy. Foods that'll just literally, like, the food is just buried in a mountain of, uh, dried chilies and peppercorns, so. Probably that. At a certain point, it's, so stuff that's super spicy becomes just uncomfortable and bitter. I don't like having stuff that's just, oh, you had super spicy stuff just to show off. I like it when, you know, there's flavor and yeah, it's really hot, but it's not to the point where you're just eating something that's uncomfortable just to show off. I don't know if I want to... I mean, the quest is not that important anyway. Alright, let me see how I've scanned this area. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's Impa's thing. Behind Impa's thing. <laughs> Spicy thing you ate was a Dorito chip. And Tabasco. Tabasco is not too bad, though. Because that's made out of vinegar. Drench the whole chip. <laughs> I drench the whole pizza slice in Tabasco like it's nothing. Or like use it to marinate chicken wings as well. It's just. Is my name Tilda? Nah. It's just something I I use just to be unique. So, because I wanted a stream name that I could get the uh, the user handle thing on every social media platform. My name's Will. It's in there in the, uh, channel details. Like, I don't try to hide my real name. Hey! 
That's probably nothing. <laughs> hi, Will. Hi, Colin. Assuming that's your name. That's the funny thing about Twitch is you just have to do whatever it is people go by. No, I kind of figured. <laughs> yes, it's 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 a, it's an old family name. I am Colrin the Third. Combination of first and last name. Fair enough. I say it just so, you know, what's the word? Doxing, jeez. No dox. Oh, well, this was a blessing in disguise. Frenic bow. Oh, it's, you know, I'll just drop it. Come back! <laughs> That's not what I got! Okay. Yeah! <laughs> to do this again. <laughs> Uh, sure. Lauren is your name? Okay, got it. I mean, tell me what you prefer. Hey! <laughs> Bruised feet. Wait, does this work? I mean, it's a waterfall, right? Yeah, it is. It works. A little bit dumb, but it works. Buddy? What? Up. Twitch name was supposed to be sparkling. <laughs> but you mistyped it. Oh no. You can't change the username? It might- but then again it might be taking. Taken. <laughs> only- wait, my only complaint about nudist tendencies are the bruised feet? No. I mean, there's other problems, like, you know, there's, there's a sword that is able to melt ice from a distance that I just have on my back. And when I go sliding down the cliff, I mean... It's probably not the best for the... Again, it's a fate thing, but... Yeah, the name that I use here on Twitch, outside of Twitch, I've never used it. It's not something that I've ever been referred to as. It was pretty much just, okay, yeah, this will this will work, and I can come up with some semblance of a meaning behind it. That's about it. And I have it on Twitter. I have it on YouTube. I have it on Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, everything like consistent. I'm not like, oh, if you want to find me on, on Instagram, just uh, add a 69 at the end of it. It's like, it's all one consistent thing. So. One consistent name is the best way to be. It, particularly when it comes to, you know, having people able to find you on the internet easily. <laughs> I 
Thank you for the follow as well. I mean, I'll say sparkling. Although we have Sandy who goes by sparkling life, so... That might be a little confusing. Climb! Like, climb! Damn it. Come on, you were almost at the top. Stop! Stop! No stamina food. I have stamina food. It's just I don't want to waste it on something as minuscule as this. I only use it when it's something that... Okay, clearly I can't make it to the top without it. I can make it to the top here. It's just I need to be smarter about it. Ah! It's raining! <laughs> Stop! God. <laughs> this is half half of today's stream has just been rain. I don't understand this. Does why am I even still trying to climb this? If there was a Korok up here, the the sound would have gone off already. Listen, the rarity is not the point. It still feels like a waste. I could have... <sighs> I could have 50 stamina skills in my inventory. I will still think it's a waste if I use one when I don't have to. And that's just a mentality where... It's, it's a way of life for me. It's like... I'm not going to waste something when it's not necessary. And that's something that extends to real life. If I can go buy without it, I go buy without it. <laughs> oh, why? Tears of the Kingdom, please have... Please have something that lets us climb in the rain. I don't care if we don't get it right away. That's fine. But an armor set, maybe. Maybe some, just some, just anything. I'm gonna go around. I'm going to go around. I'm going to go around. Just keep walking. Oh, there's a... Well, there's definitely a Korok over there. It's one of those ones with the... The rock formation. Game, please. <laughs> Stop. Hello, Laura. How's it going? Was it? it was somewhere around here. No, Link, don't. Please, you're gonna slip. It's a hill. You don't need to climb up that way. Just walk up it. Okay, where am I? Uh. Wait, apparently I'm directly on top of it. Oh, maybe it wasn't a formation at all. Okay, it looked like it, but it wasn't one. That's disappointing. If there was something up there, because I was near the top, 
the mask would have gone off. It would have gone off. Okay, there's ruins that way. Alright. Stop raining again. But this is how it's been today. It's just every five minutes I'm, I'm getting rain. It's just not letting me climb anything. Watch it rain again. Yeah, hey, I wouldn't be surprised. It's going to happen. Okay. This was not worth. This was not worth. Not worth it. Uh, that lake down there has something. up here. Or it's just below. Probably below. Ah yeah, there it is. Also, um, I'm not following a guide on this, so I would appreciate the the back seating to a minimal minimal level. Unless I'm I'm like chat, I am really stuck. Can you help me, please? Just uh, general banter, if that's possible. I mean, I have the Korok mask, like, it'll tell me the right direction to go in. And then I want to figure it out myself. That one's dead, otherwise it would have registered on the camera. Okay. I guess let's run along here for a while. Oh look, more rain. 
I w was that even five minutes? That wasn't even five minutes. Yay. Oh, wait, it stopped. I think it's just the side of the map. That was quick. <sighs> I'm not saying anything. I think you all know what I'm what I'm going to say. I'm not saying anything. I'm gonna go back up the hill and then gonna head towards her team there. To be honest, I was kind of surprised there wasn't one at that tree there. One of the, uh, the shield surfing ones. I know what. Yeah, just so you're aware, the way I'm playing this is I'm not upgrading anything until I get all my hearts. So, in other words, I have to do all the shrines, find all the Koroks. I'm not fast traveling, so, and I'm not wearing clothing either. So, I'm going to be on three hearts and walking around 90% of the time, if not higher. So if you don't see me do something that's pretty normal, uh, it's because I'm choosing not to. Not because I don't know it exists. Which is why there's a death counter on the screen. I mean, I'm wearing boxer shorts. I wouldn't say it's not naked, it's just not well equipped. Okay, so there's kind of a reason I didn't explore these hills. Because these are kind of lurking around. It's also better if you're, in general, if you're looking for Koroks and you don't know where they are and you're not following a guide to just walk everywhere. 
Kirk Mask gives you protection. It's master mode. It's negligible. You're gonna... Pretty much everything one-shots you. It gives you one armor. It's not gonna protect you in master mode. It doesn't make a difference. <laughs> Not in the slightest. It's like when you watch cartoons and, you know, there's a giant piano about to fall on someone and then they pull out a little umbrella. It's like, yeah, they have a little umbrella protecting them. Is it going to stop them from the piano crushing them to death? No. The Korok mask is my tiny umbrella. I could do with an umbrella. Ha ha ha, I get it, cause rain. <laughs> oh, it's your great timing. I have some news. I did some more researching regarding the Great Fairy Fountain, and I have a lead. However, although I know of the spot where it's likely located, it's really hard to get there. I'm not sure I can do it. Even if it's just the picture. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, never mind. Um, also, yeah, this isn't my first time playing it. I played this when it first came out, and I did exactly this, so. Three hearts, master mode, nothing upgraded until I got everything, and then eventually completing Trial of the Sword and finishing the game. But, yeah, this was before I was streaming anything, so. So tired. Hills aren't easy for old fogies like me. Old fogies? Sorry, but I don't think I can go on. Fogie. What the heck is a fogey? Okay, not the fountain, I... You. Yeah, Best. Good enough. Someday I hope I can see that place spoken of in whispers, veiled in mystery, the Great Fairy Fountain. Found it. Ah, oh, you found it? Really? You serious right now? And if you are, where's the picture? You remember to take the picture, right? Or you could just walk up the road like 75 meters. You could probably see it yourself. This is the Great Fairy Fountain? It's certainly beautiful, but I thought that would be it would be more sacred and elegant. Well, I'm impressed you found it. I want to give you something to show my appreciation, but I don't think I have anything on me. I know. Is there a place you've been seeking? I've traveled all over Hyrule, so I might be able to help you find it. Yeah, that's, um... 
It's Linero, like I know what this is. There's a Lionel <laughs> right next to those gates. Or a Hinox, it's one of the two. I think one end has a Hinox and the other one has Lionel. Anyway. That's done. Okay. Chat, I need to do a small intermission. I've been sitting here for like four hours and something. Plus, I don't like the VODs on YouTube to be too long, so I'm going to take the opportunity to first of all refill my water bottle, but also stretch my legs for a couple of minutes and stop the recording and split it in two before it gets too long. So, if you're watching later on YouTube, this is the part where we say bye YouTube, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed.